Reprobation. Final rejection. God is long suffering, wishing all to come to repentance. But there are some who are so hardened they will not listen to the truth, and God will give them up to their desires. Their consciences are seared, they can no longer turn. The scripture says this about reprobation. The wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth and unrighteousness. For this reason, God gave them up to vile passions. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do things which are not fitting being filled with all unrighteousness. The Spirit expressly says that in latter times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their own conscience seared with a hot iron. For the time will come when they will not endure solemn doc doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they heat for themselves teachers, and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. The main reason is the love of unrighteousness and a lack of love for the truth. Even in the last days it will be seen. Many will fall away to the lies because they did not love the truth and love darkness. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan with all power, signs, and wonders, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish, because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this reason God will send them a strong delusion that they should believe the lie, that they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Most likely you've met these kinds of people. They stay in heresy churches. They get angry when you try to give them information from the scriptures. They reject Jesus' words. The pastor there is also hardened and will go to his end preaching his doctrine. But be not discouraged. You can't argue doctrine with someone who refuses to even read the words of Jesus. He just doesn't love God enough to read his words. And Jesus gave us instructions, Matthew 10, 14. And whoever will not receive you nor hear your words, when you depart from that house or city, shake off the dust from your feet. Assuredly, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. When rejected, there's not much else you can do except pray for them and move on. Jesus bless you.